hello guys and welcome back to this video this is a step-by-step -step guide on how to take the signals okay that will send that on the telegram platform now i noticed that a lot of you actually have new in crypto even those of you who are a bit older in the trading industry okay you still don't understand how to take okay those signals that have been sent on the telegram group so this is actually a guide that will help you um you know guide you on taking those signals all right and we recommend using bybit for all of our signals okay so whatever i'm doing here i'm going to demonstrate this using the bybit app so make sure you have a bybit account and you follow suit now if you don't have a bybit account it's very simple just use the link in the video description to sign up for an account and then you can just transfer your funds from whatever exchange you have that you want to start trading with into the bybit account and then start taking all of the signals you send on the bybit exchange so if i switch to my app right now so i'm going to do everything here using the app the bybit app okay so the signals we sent are for features okay features traders these are for you and um, if you are going to be trading spot it means that you can only be taking signals that are long okay when the signal says long it means that you can buy at the market price or buy uh, whatever the entry price is and sell when the price increases but if it is a short trade okay it is only features traders who can actually take those trade all right so here on the buy bit app you want to go to your derivatives okay make sure you click on derivatives and then go to it all right here on the derivative interface what you see here i currently have a trade that is running what you see here is that we have the trade option okay and we have the chart option this is why I love Bybit, okay? So if I go to the chart option, this is where you can actually do all of your charting. And then you can navigate on different time frames and all of that, okay? Use indicators here, navigate and do all of your analysis and take your trade. But we are not here to explain this. I'm just letting you know, okay? Why, if you want to take a trade, maybe you get a signal and all of that, you just switch to the trade option, all right? This is where you'll be doing the buying and the selling on all of your trades. Okay, so once you are on the trade option, the first thing you want to do now is to go ahead and select the token. Let's say um, the token that was sent is, for instance, Touch USDT. So you want to go ahead and click on this option here where you have, in your own case, maybe BTC or whatever token you traded last. So go ahead and click on that and type the name of the token that the signal said you should trade. So here I'll go ahead and type Storage USDT. Now once I type, you see the token will pop up here. All you just need to do is to go ahead and click on it and that will open it up on the chart. All right. Now that this token has opened up, the next thing you need to do before you actually take the signal is to check the margin mode you are trading with is it cross margin or isolated okay we always advise that you go with isolated now the difference between isolated margin and cross margin is that when you are trading with cross margin you are risking the whole of your account balance whatever funds you have on your account that is exactly what you are risking on cross margin but isolated it will only be the money that you actually trade with let's say um you enter a trade with hundred dollars it is that hundred dollars now this is in a case of liquidation. When you get liquidated, you only lose that hundred dollars. But if you are trading with cross margin, when you get liquidated, for those of you who don't like using stop loss, okay, when you get liquidated, you will lose the whole of the trading capital you have in your official trading account. Okay, so you want to make sure that you are here. All right, this cross margin mode. Okay, make sure you select it. That is where you equally set your leverage. So you select it. Now, if the um, signal recommend, you know, 5x to 10x leverage or 20x leverage or whatever leverage is, you should use the leverage you are comfortable with, okay? So first, you go ahead and, you know, adjust the leverage. Let's say you want to use 5x leverage or 10x leverage, you go ahead and adjust that. Now, up here, you see isolated margin and then cross margin. So choose the one you want. Okay, I just told you the difference for cross, you are risking the whole money you have on your official trading account. Why isolated? It is only that money you enter the trade with that you are risking. And this risk comes in play when you don't use stop loss. Okay, if you get liquidated here, you will lose the whole of your capital. Here, you will lose only the money you enter the trade with. All right. So once you selected your leverage, you selected the margin mode, all you just need to do is to click on confirm and that will go ahead and confirm that okay so whatever mode you want margin you want to trade with you go ahead and select that now the next thing is if you don't have your balance here whatever funds you want to trade with if you don't have it here you see this plus icon okay that is circled here this is where you can transfer funds into your official trading account so just click on the plus icon okay and then you can go ahead and select transfer if you don't have funds already in your bybit account then you can use the deposit option but we'll go ahead and click on transfer 
And then when we click on transfer, okay, when we click on transfer, here you see that you can transfer either from the derivative account to your spot account, or you can transfer from any other wallet to, you know, your derivative account. In this case, we are going to transfer from, let's say, spot or funding wallet to our derivative account. So first you select the wallet you want to transfer from, okay, maybe our funding account, okay, once we select our funding account, the next thing is to click on this. This will flip it over, right? So remember, the one at the top is the one you are transferring from, while the one below is the one you are transferring to. So I will click on that middle icon there, and then it will flip it above. So if I'm going to transfer, I will transfer from funding wallet to my derivative account because I'm going to trade features, right? Then I will select the token. In this case, it's USDT. So if it is not USDT that I selected here, make sure you select USDT and click on max, or you just type in the amount you want to transfer, Let's say 100 USDT, go ahead and type 100 USDT. And after that, click on confirm down there. And those funds will be transferred to your derivative account successfully. All right. Now to the signals. Okay. If you want to not take the signals, what you now do is if the market, if the signal comes and tell you enter with market, okay, current market price, current market price, or at times, um, you know, crypto mastermind will actually um, use the short form, which is CMP, okay, current market price or CMP. It means you should use market order. So if it comes with current market price or CMP, you want to go ahead and click on limit, okay. Once you click on limit, change it to market, all right, change it to market. And then all you just need to do now is to use this slider to now set the amount of money you want to risk. In that trade. So if I push this slider here, once I push this slider here, it tells me that if I go ahead and open this trade, I am going to buy or sell this amount of storage. Okay. And this amount of storage will cost me how much? This is what you want to look at right here. Okay. It, it will cost me 88 USDT. So when I'm going to open long or short position, this is how much it will cost me. Okay. This amount it will cost me 88 USDT. So you can continually use this. Okay. This adjuster to adjust it. So if I shift it back, you see that it is now $38. Okay. If I use the whole of the money to be the whole of my balance and all of that. Okay. So use this slider to make sure you are using the appropriate amount you want to actually trade with. Okay. So it means that if it cost me um, $63, okay, right here to enter this position, if it cost me $63 to either open a long or short position, it means if the market moved by 10%, so what that means is if the market moved by 10%, I am making 10% of the $63, not 63, not 10% of my account balance, okay, or my trading account. So if you move by 5%, I am making 5% of this $63. Some of you are using like um, $2 as your margin, you're using $1 as your margin and all of that. Even if the market goes in your favor and you're making 100%, okay, what you should know is that 100% will be of the margin that it cost you, all right? If it is $1, it is 100% of $1. If it is $5, it is 100% of $5. So that is one thing you should be aware of. Now, after that, the next thing is to set your take profit levels, okay? The next thing, maybe your, the trade has take profit one, two, three, and all of that, and stop loss, you can go ahead and set that before you enter the trade. So how do you do that? Click on this TP and SL option, okay? So once you go ahead and click on it, now here you have the option, if it is, if the trade says long, you go ahead and, you know, stay on the long option. If the trade says short, okay, or sell, go ahead and set your take profit on the short option. So if, for instance, it says long um, storage USDT, we'll go ahead and set our take profit levels there. If it says short, then you can go ahead and, you know, switch to the short option and you can set your take profit levels here, all right? So if it says long, let's say the first take profit says we should take profit at um, whatever it is, let's say at 0 0.32, okay? If I go ahead and use this slider, whatever it is, okay? Now you can manually type the price of the take profit here, okay? Or you can put the percentage here, right? But once you type in the price of the first take profit, it will give you the percentage of that take profit level, right? Then the next thing you want to do is to go ahead and set your stop loss, okay? Whatever stop loss that is given to you, you go ahead and set it up. Now, the thing you need to do if it has take profit one, two, three, okay? Make sure you put the take profit three level here. I will show you how to, you know, take profit um one and two or thereabouts so put the last take profit okay here put the last take profit here 
as your take profit and then put the stop loss here. Once you've done that, you go ahead and click on confirm. Once you confirm, the next thing now, if the uh, trade say buy, go ahead and buy long, okay? If you say sell, go ahead and sell long, okay? Uh, and sell short. Now, once you place that, automatically, because we are using market order, the trade will immediately be triggered and it will be running, okay? The trade will be immediately be triggered and it will be running. Now, if the trade gives you an entering price, if it gives you an entering price that entered at so-so-so price, what you want to do is to go ahead and change this market option, okay, to limit. So go ahead and change it to limit. Now, when you change it to limit, it now gives you the option to enter your price here. All right, so you now have entering price there. So what I can do now is to go ahead and type whatever the entering price is. If it is 0 0.030, I'll go ahead and type that, right? Once I type that, the next thing, use the slider and, you know, check the amount of money you want to spend on that trade. Here it will cost me $59, okay? And then go ahead and set your take profit and stop loss again, all right? Once you do that, you go ahead and either buy long or buy short. Now, if you use limit order, one thing you should understand, okay, if you use limit order here, the trade will not be, your trade will not immediately be triggered. What will happen is that the trade will be pending. As you can see, these are pending orders, okay? Once it gets to your price, once the price, the current price there gets to your own price, your trade will immediately be triggered. That means you are now in the trade. Okay, that is limit order. And there is another advanced order that is called the conditional order. So if I go ahead and click on the limit option here, you see conditional order and then you see this TWAP. Okay, we rarely reuse this, but conditional orders are used very often. Now, conditional orders are used alternative to limit order. The way limit order works is that if I want to buy, I cannot buy above the current market price. And if I want to sell, I cannot sell uh, below the current market price okay so if if your entering price is for buy is above the current market price the exchange will automatically enter your trade with current market price and the same thing happens for itself so if you are going to enter a trade that the price is above the current market price instead of using limit you use conditional order all right so we'll take our time to talk about all of these other types and all of that so that is how you enter both long and short trade now, after you've entered the trade, remember I told you that you should enter the trade with what? Enter the trade with the last take profit level. Once you enter the trade with the last take profit level and your trade is triggered, here, okay, here when the trade is running already, you will see your take profit level set up here. And then you'll see this other option that says partial um, position, okay? Partial position, your own will be showing zero. So go ahead and click on that partial position option after you have entered the trade and the trade is triggered already. Now, when you click on that, you will see this option here, okay? Here is where you set your take profit level and here is where you set your partial um, profit. So now what you will now do is to click on the partial position option. When you click on the partial position option, this is where you are going to set your, you know, take profit one and take profit two. I already had that on this trade that is running, but in your own case, you go ahead and set it. And if you want to add, you just click on add. I've made a video on this already. I have to use this option. I made a video on this. I will leave the link in the video description so that I don't get to keep this video very long, okay? So I'll go ahead and see that video and see how you can set up, you know, partial take profit levels and all of that. So this is the option you will now use to set take profit one, okay? When it gets to take profit one, you close either half of your position or a certain percentage of your position. When it gets to take profit two, you close a certain percentage of your position. This way, even if the trade eventually goes against you and hit your stop loss, and all of that, you will not be losing much or you will not even lose at all in the market, all right? So basically, that is how you can take the signals that will send that to you daily. It's very simple, all right? It's very simple. And once the trade hits your target, it automatically closes your trade. Whether you have internet connection then or not, it automatically closes your trade. Don't just open trades and leave them to run because you may go around you know, your duty and then when you come back, because you did not put stop loss, you did not put take profit, the trade might have gone to hit your take profit, come back again to hit your stop loss, and it will just be plain until you get liquidated. So make sure you always put take profit level, always put stop losses and all of that. Okay, if the trade is going against you, you'll be seeing it in red. And if it is going in your, uh, in your, in your favor, you'll be seeing it in green. Okay, so here in the bracket is the percentage, okay, that the trade is going against you based on the leverage you're using. Why here is the amount of USDT you'll be making. And this is determined based on the size 
of the amount of money you enter that trade with. I hope this video is helpful. Okay, if it is, give this video a thumbs up, guys. Give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to the channel, make sure you consider subscribing. If you want to be taking the signals, join the Telegram group if you are not there already. Once again, if you don't have a Bybit account, sign up for Bybit. Okay, for official trading, Bybit is the best exchange to do that. Right? Thank you all, and I will see you guys in the next video.